Hey guys, Spud here, as always. And today I wanted to highlight a tool that Eagle Dynamics has given to us, the community, absolutely for free to help us get the best performance possible out of DCS World. I wanted to highlight this tool specifically after yesterday's video on mouse pulling rate and micro stutters within DCS because I was seeing a lot of comments and discussion here in Discord from folks who were dissatisfied with their PC and DCS's performance but just weren't quite sure where to get started when it came to tweaking things. And that's what this tool is all about, giving you guys a good starting point as to how to tweak your DCS settings, your Windows settings, and even your PC hardware to get the best performance out of DCS World possible. Now, this tool lives all within Discord and the Eagle Dynamics Discord server, and works thanks to the awesome scripting capabilities that Discord brings to the table. So to find this tool, all we gotta do is go over to the Eagle Dynamics Discord server here, if you're new to Discord and new to the Eagle Dynamics Discord server, you'll probably have to go through the Rules section and Get Roles section, but if you're already a member, such as I am here, it'll dump you off in the ED News section, where we can see all of the uh, news from Eagle Dynamics themselves, such as the Friday newsletters, things of that nature. To find the tool itself, we need to scroll down the left-hand side here through all the chat channels, and we need to find the DCS World Support category and click on the DCS Log Analyzer right here. Now, all we need to do now is just upload the crash zip file if you've had a DCS crash or the DCS Log text file if you just want to, say, tweak some settings to get the best performance possible, even if you haven't necessarily had a DCS crash. So now we need to find our DCS log file itself, and that's going to live in your DCS saved games folder. Now for me in my Windows File Explorer, I have my saved games folder in a non-standard, non-default location. It lives in my E drive here, along with where I install DCS World itself. However, for you guys who have it in just a normal default Windows location, it's going to be located in your local disk, your users, your name or your username, and then in your saved games folder here. However, mine of course lives here in my E drive, so saved games, dcs.openbeta. If yours just says DCS, that is no problem whatsoever. Mine still says dcs.openbeta because this folder was created by DCS prior to the merge of the release version and the open beta version of DCS itself. Going inside here, we then need to find the logs folder. Then the two folders we're looking for is going to be this file here labeled DCS, and usually Windows 11 will hide the file extension of .log, but it's basically just going to be a text document labeled DCS. Or, if you have a DCS crash that was particularly bad, you can also upload the dcs.log zip file here that includes within it the dump files and crash files that DCS compiles for analyzing at a later date by debuggers. So basically all we need to do is grab this file here and drag it on over. Then, once it's within the DCS text box here, we just hit enter. That'll send the file to the bot itself, and it'll come back with a log file analysis here. We can see our DCS version to make sure we're on the latest updated version of DCS. We can see we're on the standalone version, not the Steam version of DCS, and the operating system version behind DCS itself. Now it can also detect some things that have to do with our Windows install and our hardware. 
So it can see I'm on an i9-14900K, I've got lots of RAM, I've got a G, uh, GeForce RTX 4090, uh, the number of cores and threads that are available, the page file size, VRAM, drivers, preload radius, and it also can see if I have process lasso active or not. It can also see the custom mods that I have installed, which is of course TacView, SRS, and the A4E from the community mod. Now, in order to see what is potentially going wrong with DCS or how we can tweak DCS to make it work better, we can click on the errors tab right here and we can see what is going wrong with DCS itself. We can see that process lasso is detected Process lasso can cause issues with DCS world, consider disabling it. That's gonna definitely uh, you know, vary based off of your PC hardware and what you think works best for you. But uh, Eagle Dynamics here does not want la process lasso turned on. Now, I also have a integrity check is failed due to the error being the uh, an AGM 45 uh, file probably in the F4 and that probably got damaged as I was uh, using different custom mods to give the F4 things like um, standard arms, harms, things of that nature. And so it's it's having me want to uh, conduct a repair which is a pretty standard and easy thing to do to fix this broken file for the AGM45s. It's, we can also then go over to advice and I can say here, remove the core affinity mask from your CPU and verify that you have things uh, correctly configured within Windows. Make sure that game mode is disabled and make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is disabled. I already have these both disabled, so um, this is just kind of a standard piece of advice. And then if you really want to try and get things working as well as possible performance wise, go over to tuning here. And we can see disable tack view for performance reasons, turn off SSLR, which is going to be one of the graphical options within DCS world, and then enable full screen mode. Now, as I've been tweaking DCS world and tweaking my graphic settings, things of that nature, and just changing things around, I've sometimes seen my log get analyzed and have practically a full page of text of stuff I'm doing wrong with Windows, DCS, and my PC hardware. And sometimes it's just a very small blurb of text like we can see here. Then if for whatever reason you do not want your log file to be analyzed by anybody else within the community and you want to keep that information private, that's no problem. All you got to do is hit the cancel button here and poof, all of your stuff is gone. So guys, I hope this really helps you guys out, especially when finding a starting point to then start to tweak your DCS settings, your Windows settings, and even your PC hardware to get the best performance and best experience possible out of DCS world. So I hope this helped you guys out and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Please give a like and a subscribe and enjoy this beautiful game. Thanks guys.